Okay, after the sun exhausts its uh, nuclear fuel, its ultimate fate may be collapsed to a white dwarf state. In this state, it would have approximately the same mass, the same mass as it has now, but its radius would be equal to the radius of Earth. Well, Earth is so small compared to the compared to the current sun. Calculate the gravitational potential energy associated with a, a one kilogram object at the surface of the white dwarf. Wow. Okay. So now uh, let's imagine this. Uh, uh, sun, it uh, shrink, it shrink its size to the size of the Earth, yet it still have the same mass at, as now. Okay, look at uh, the Sun. Okay, let us draw the Sun. Um, this is the Sun. Okay, so let's let's say it shrink. Okay, it shrink, it shrink itself. Okay, it shrink. Oh, it shrink itself. Oh, sorry. Huh? Let me draw it out. Ah, see that it string itself. Last time, uh, mass. This is the mass of sun. But after it string, it still maintain the same mass of sun. Okay, the mass never change. However, the radius has changed. Ah, uh, last. Uh, look at the radius. Ah, uh, see, last time is radius of sun. Sorry, last time is radius of sun. However, now it become radius of earth. Ah, uh, now he become radius of earth. So small. Last time his radius of sun. Now he become the size of earth. Yeah, radius of earth. But it still maintain the same mass. You can Im okay. What's the formula for gravitational potential energy? Okay. Uh, we we need to calculate this. Yeah. So we need to find actually the gravitational potential energy. Uh, with um, you know, uh, a one kilogram object at the surface of the white dwarf. So we can say uh, the way is the one kilogram object. One kilogram object is over here at the surface. Uh, at the surface. So um, uh, this is the one kilogram object over here. Okay. So we want to find the potential energy uh, on the surface of the white dwarf now. Yeah. White dwarf. So what's the formula for potential energy? Potential energy is negative. Yeah. Look at the formula. Potential energy is negative gmm over r. Uh, where r is the radius of the planet plus altitude okay so look at this formula Neg uh, negative gmm over r okay uh, but uh, because you are on the surface okay because now you want to find the uh, the potential energy on the surface uh, so your r is only the your r is only the radius of the because it's shrink down to to the uh, the white dwarf. This is the white dwarf. It shrink down to the size of the earth. It already shrink down to the size of the earth. So you use the the white dwarf. We use the radius of earth. We use the radius of earth. So we use the uh, not the radius of sun anymore. It's the radius of earth already because the white dwarf has shrink to the size of the earth. Ah, okay. Now you want to say on the surface because um, the question says. Uh, he want to find the potential energy on the surface. Okay, potential energy on the surface. So that means that means uh, the R is uh, radius of Earth. Uh, R is the radius of Earth because on the surface the altitude is zero. Uh, altitude is zero. Okay, on the surface. Uh, because we know. We know radius of the, the R is uh, radius of the planet plus altitude. Now you're, you're on the surface, though, so that means your H is zero. So your R is only the radius of the Earth. Okay, white dwarf has the size of the Earth. Uh, understand? Uh, so uh, look at here. Look at what happened. When you shrink, when you shrink, that means your radius decrease a lot. Your radius decrease a lot. Uh, but you maintain uh, the, the, the mass. The, the mass doesn't change. Uh, the mass doesn't change. Okay? It's still very, very big. It's still very, very big. Yeah? Your mass. Your mass of the sun. Still very, very big. Very small, rate, small size, but the mass still the same. So your potential energy uh, at the surface is very, very high. Uh, what does it mean? What does it mean by very high potential energy? Okay, that means you are very, very negative. Your potential energy is very, very 
uh, very very negative. What does it mean by very very negative potential energy? That means if the size of the sun or the string yet the mass still maintain the same, that means uh, you are uh, any any object on the surface of the white dwarf will owe will owe a lot of energy. Ah, what I can say is the one kilogram object, the one kilogram object on the white dwarf, yeah, the one kilogram object on the surface of the white dwarf will owe will owe. Uh, sorry, will owe a lot energy. Will owe a lot energy to the white dwarf, the white dwarf sun. Uh, white will owe a lot of energy. What does it mean by owe a lot of energy? That means very hard to escape the white dwarf. Uh, if you have a one kilogram object or any object on the surface of the white dwarf now with a very very small size yet the same mass as the sun that means next time if this one kilogram object want to escape from the surface of the white dwarf it will require a lot a lot of kinetic energy yeah uh, it will require a lot a lot of kinetic energy in order to escape from the surface so it requires very very high uh, escape velocity. Ah, uh, so, so what I can say is, okay, I want to write something here. Ah, uh, this is the one. Yeah, that means if you have a very very negative potential energy on the surface of the white dwarf, you that means this object will owe a lot of energy to the white dwarf. That means very hard to escape. Next time you want to escape from, uh, for this one kilogram object to escape from the surface of the white dwarf sun very very hard to escape it requires a lot a lot of kinetic energy uh, which means it requires very high escape velocity uh, in order to jump out from the gravitation gravitational pull of the white dwarf uh, require very high escape velocity in order to jump out from the gravitational pull of the uh, white dwarf sun also means that this object will experience very very high gravitational force or gravitational pull towards the white dwarf sun huh? it has very high gravitational force on the surface okay uh, this is just concept yeah uh, but uh, to solve this question not necessarily needs uh, to for you to know this concept but uh, sometimes uh, you you need to, to understand the situation it's good for you to understand uh, what happened rather than just solving the questions okay it's better for you to also understand the concept behind okay so now let us uh, calculate the potential energy using the just the formula okay u equal to negative gmm over r let's find out how negative is this potential energy let's find out how negative okay so use this formula uh, okay uh, use this formula u equal to negative okay uh, u equal to negative g m m over r okay so do we have all the needed value uh the m big m is the mass of the you know mass of the sun uh mass of the sun uh means this mass of the sun okay uh this is the point mass big m okay this is the big m and what's the small small m ah uh, the one kilogram object uh, the one kilogram object this is the test mass uh, small m this is the big m okay uh, this one kilogram is the test mass what test mass okay uh, this sun is the point mass uh, okay so um we also can write the formula as this one not necessarily have to use big m small m we also can write as uh, m of the sun m of the uh, object of the object uh, also can okay mass of the sun uh, mass of the sun multiply mass of the object also can uh, like this uh, not necessarily have to follow big m small m okay uh, but we use big m for point mass small m for test mass uh, that's uh, also another uh, good way of thinking okay so uh, now uh, how about the r uh, remember the r is uh, radius of the planet plus altitude but now we are on the surface you see that on the surface that means your h is zero uh, your h is zero uh, okay so 
uh, so that means uh, this r is just the radius of uh, earth uh, because the white dwarf already string to the string down to the size of the earth so we just take the radius of earth okay uh, so uh, maybe we should we can write it down again uh, so this one is the uh, we just uh, take this one as a radius of the uh, radius of the earth okay uh, can uh, write it down again but in a better uh, so our h is zero yeah our our h is zero because on the surface our h is zero uh, on the surface so uh, the big m is the mass of sun small m is the mass of object one kilogram and the uh, r is just radius of earth uh, because it's on the surface yeah because it is on the uh, surface uh, on the surface okay so now let's uh, substitute the value okay that's what we can do so potential energy equal to negative what is the g 6.67 exponent negative 11 okay uh, and then what is the big m big m is the mass of sun so 1.99 exponent 30 wow that's very big huge and one kilogram mass of object is just one kilogram uh, one kilogram okay. one kilogram very easy yeah and then divided by radius of the earth uh, radius of the earth is 6.38 6.38 exponent uh, 6 i uh, remember scalar quantity uh, this is a scalar quantity uh, so the r here no square you see r here no square uh, don't you square it uh? Uh, r is scalar quantity r no square okay let's calculate Okay, I got the answer already. Yeah? So, what's the answer? Um, the potential energy, don't forget, uh, you, have neg you have the negative, uh, you owe energy to the sun, to the white dwarf. You owe the, the uh, one kilogram object, one kilogram object, all potential energy to the, to the, to the sun. Uh, you want to escape, you need to pay. You need to pay back that amount of energy. You need a lot of kinetic energy in order to escape. So you must have the uh, very high kin escape velocity to have that amount of kinetic energy. Okay, so uh, what's the answer I get? I get negative 2.08 exponent 13. Wow, you owe a lot of energy to the white dwarf, man. Very hard to escape, man. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that's the answer. Is that correct? Is that correct? Ah, negative 2.08 exponent 13 joule. Ah, that's correct. Okay. So, uh, hope you understand. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's move on to the next questions.